Hello everyone, today we're going to look at Isako training stamps. Okay, so in this problem we're given a set of n stamp values. For example, we can have a set of 1 cent and 3 cents. And we're also given an upper limit k, which is the number of stamps that we can use, or the basically the number of stamps that can fit in the envelope. And we're supposed to calculate the number of unbroken list that we can create from 1 cents to m cents that can be created. So then, for example, if we have um, a supply of 1 cent and 3 cents, and we can use at most 5 stamps, then um, what we can do is that, for example, if we want to make 7, we can use 2 3 stamps and 1 or 2, two 3 cent stamps and 1 cent. One one cent stamps, and this would result in a total of three stamps, which fits in um in a constraint. So it would be possible to make seven. So then, notice that it is impossible to make um fourteen cents out of only five um stamps. So then our upper bound or our m would be thirteen. Okay, so over here our first integer is the upper or the limit to how many stamps we can use. The second one is how many stamps we have. And over here is basically just the values of our stamps. And we just print um, M, which is the upper bound. All right. So we can apply um, dynamic programming knapsack. So then what we can do is that we can set our DP state as DP of I equals to the minimum number of coins to create a sum a sum of i so for example if we take a look at the problem to make 10, the minimum number of coins we can use is going to be 4. And it would involve 3, three, um, it would involve three, three cent stamps and one 1 cent stamps. Whoops, okay. So if that is our DP state, we know that we need um, basically 0 coins to create a sum of 0, so our answer for dp of 0 will be 0. And now if we basically expand our dp, so for example if we're given 1 and 3, from dp 0 we can make dp of 1, and this would cost 1, and we can also make dp of 3, this would cost 1. From 1, we can make dp 2, this would cost 2, we can also make dp 4, and this would also cost 2. And basically we would just keep on expanding this table, or this, um, basically this graph. So um, to be more clear, from dp of i, we can loop through. each stamp, let's call this um, V of I, or let's actually call this V of J. So then, basically our DP of I plus V of J, because we're just simulating adding this coin, it'd be equal to the min of this, because um, there actually might be another more optimal way of making this, and dp of i plus 1 and we're just assuming that we're um we're using this coin so we would add 1 to this so then how do we find our answer so notice that we're actually um we're actually looping through the dp values from 0 so we're actually over here let's actually use this so I can be from 0 to the um, basically the maximum value. So I would be from actually, it would be from 
k, which is the number of coins we can use, times um, the maximum stamp size. So this would be 10 to the fourth. And basically, um, basically when we're calculating dp of i or when we're expanding out of dp of i, we already calculated the value for dp of i. That's how we're actually um, using our dp of i to update the rest. So if dp of i, so if it takes over k coins to make this, then we know that um, our answer would be equal to i minus 1 because this would basically be our first value that we cannot make out of these k coins. So let's actually analyze the total complexity. Okay, so we have O, and then we have our k here, so then this would be k, and we have our n here because the number of stamps, so this would be k, n, times max weight. So this would be the, yeah, so max, max of vi so this would so this wouldn't actually take very long so this would pass okay so let's get to coding and this is stamps okay so let's include C studio CSDDIO so we're going to um we're going to have two integers on the first line, so we're going to have k and n. So we have k and we have n, so let's NF that. Okay, and then we're also going to have the list of stamps we're going to have. So then we're going to have a total of 50 stamps, so we can have our 50 stamps, so this would be 50. Okay, so now after we read that, we will loop through each i from 0 to 50, or actually to n, my bad, we're going to read um, a of i. Okay, so then now we're going to basically calculate our dp value. So let's actually include c string. Okay, so then we will also have our dp of our total weight. So our total weight would actually be the maximum k times the maximum stamp. So then this would be 200 times um, 10 to the fourth, which would be this. Let's just add 5. So over here, what we can do first is that we can just memset this to a pretty big value. So memset dp. And we just do the whole everything in the dp arrays. And then we know that dp of 0 equals to 0 because we know that we have our the minimum coins you can use to make 0 is 0. So now we're going to loop through each i from 0 to k times this maximum value. Okay, so if dp of i is greater than k, and this means that, um, we cannot create i. So then our answer would actually be, so we can actually use printf here, so printf, we would printf i minus 1 because that would be actually the first, uh, or the last value that we can create. And then we can just exit, or we can just return 0 actually. So otherwise, we're going to expand our dp value. So we're going to loop through all the coins from j to n, so dp of i plus a of j would equal to the min dp i plus a of j dp of i plus 1. Okay, so let's actually run that. I think that's just going to be it. And this is stamps. Okay, let me get the input. Okay, uh, so dp, we have dp over here. Oh, yeah, so we use static int actually here. And looks like min is not declared. So what we can do here is that we can have our own function. So we can int min, int. So we have our first integer and our second integer. So we're just going to return. If a is less than b, then we return 
A, otherwise you return B. Okay, so 13, and that is right. So the only thing is that we have to print an N line here because that's just the strict rules we have here. So since we're reading from a file, we can just reopen and stamps that in and stamps the out. Okay. So let's submit it. Stamps and language. Okay. So here we go. Select the file. Alright. Stamps, stamps. Second. Alright, stamps main. Okay, so that is right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Bye.